Hi boys and girls, my name is Liz Million and no, I do not have a million pounds but look, I've got some fun antlers on my head and they look like they belong to my head which is quite worrying. Now we're having a bit of a festive draw along today. Now do you like drawing? Well, some of you might have gone, yeah, some of you might have gone, yeah. Drawing is a funny thing, isn't it? You can enjoy it, but you don't have to be fantastic at it. And today, we're not gonna be drawing anything too difficult. But what you will do today, you'll pick up some top tips about being an illustrator from myself, and hopefully you will get a newfound confidence. Now, North Yorkshire Libraries is asking me to do a draw along. Now we could draw anything because it's nearly Christmas. I thought we could do some festive characters. Now we could draw good old chubby Santa himself or we could do some wintry animals. It's up to you. Now I think we're gonna start with a potato shape which you're probably thinking, what? Potato shapes are brilliant and I used to draw potatoes all the time. Look, that little girl has got a potato face and that is a flump. Now they're my pictures I did when I was a little girl and now I draw very, very differently. You can see this is beautifully colored in very neatly with inks and paints. And today you're gonna see me drawing with my gorgeous pens. And you don't need gorgeous pens, by the way. I'm just a fancy artist. You can just have normal crayons. I've also got lots of big marker pens and I've got my trusty crayons. Now these crayons look a little bit better than the ones at your school. They haven't got bogies and lick all over them for a start. And these are very, very vibrant colours and I draw and colour in very, very quickly. Now we're going to take our time today a little bit but we're not going to dawdle too much and because this is a video you can always pause me and I think people probably wish they could mute me but don't mute me. No, we're going to do some drawing. So I suggest you grab a pencil, maybe not as big as my pencils here and grab some paper because we are going to do some drawing. Hey now, you've noticed I've got a snazzy hat and I've got a potato already. Now, this potato sometimes wears a hat like this and sometimes he has a long nose. Yes, that's right, we're gonna do a snowman. And if you have a look on here, I've drawn a potato. So really, it's not a circle, it's just a quick, quick potato. Now we're going to make it big enough to um, put his face on and his features. So I've got it on my board ready. So I'm going to get my pen. First thing you're going to do is find the middle of your snowman's face and you're going to draw a big curly cut in the middle. Now that looks also how I draw um, a kid's nose but we're going to come round and long. Now if you've ever actually seen a carrot you'll know they're not perfectly straight which is good because I can't draw very straight lines either. And look I can't rub that little crayon line out so I'm going to put loads of um, lines on it. Okay we're going to do two eyes like that and I'm going to draw him looking over there. You can see I haven't coloured my black bits of my eyes in just yet. So I've got some eyes I'm going to leave a little circle in there. I'm going to come round there with my pen. Now you should be drawing in pencil first and then when you're happy with it, go round in pen. Because if you do it with pen and you make a little mistake, you can't rub it out. Now I know I'm drawing in pen, but I've been drawing for a long time, as I said. So he's going to have little friendly eyes. Now, I know some snowmen have got little sort of coal mouths like that, but I don't really like those. Um, I prefer like a good cheesy grin or um, a nice little smile, or if it was a lady, put some lipstick on and some eyelashes. We could also make him go, ooh. <laughs> he could be going, but if you were putting this on a Christmas card, you might want to wonder what's going on. If he was rude, he might be going, Oh, what a rude snowman. <laughs> so I'm going to make him look like he's saying something like Happy Christmas or Hello, like that. So he's got a little banana mouth with a little cheek. And while you're doing that, I'm going to put a little bit of colour on. Now, you don't need to put colour on just yet. You can always wait till the end and then pop it on. And I'm going to get my 
uh, orangey crayon. You can see that I need a new one of those. <laughs> I've been drawing lots of pumpkins and things throughout the year. Okay, so he's got a carroty nose. How fast was that with that crayon, by the way? Now, we could draw uh, one of those kinds of hats, a top hat. He looks very smart, doesn't he? Or we could just draw, um, if you're not sure, you could always do a little bobble hat like that or you could do a beret I think what we're going to do we'll have a go at doing a little top hat hopefully you've got space it doesn't matter if it doesn't fit on his head because I think these are like old top hats they're always a little bit battered because in the Victorian times when Christmas cards sort of were a bit invented sort of then um, they used to give the characters old sort of battered top hats and coal for eyes and really we don't really coal isn't a very sort of um, popular as, as it once was. I know some of you might have a coal fire at home. So I'm going to get my crayon and just put a little bit of colour on that. You could do a gorgeous colour if you like. You could do a Willy Wonka purple one. <laughs> I'm going to do a little purple bow here. And I don't really like that crayon very much. It's like an, a wax uh, oily crayon. I don't really uh, like that. But what I might do is go over it with my ready pink to make it really sort of colourful. There we go. So he looks quite sweet there. We're going to draw a little scarf and I'm not going to do a whole body on because I'm going to show you how to draw even more characters with a potato. Okay, <laughs> So he's got some little shoulders and I've got some sheets as well for you and it shows you how to draw all sorts of things. I've got a lovely green here. I think I'm going to do a wiggle. So you can do you hear that squeaky pen? <laughs> you could do red spots, you could do checks, it's up to you. Um, I might get my red. Oh, red and green and gold are just such lovely Christmassy colours, aren't they? Okay, so he looks really friendly, doesn't he? Now, if my character wasn't friendly, if he was evil, evil snowman. <laughs> I don't think we want an evil one. If you wanted to do black dots for eyes, like little bits of coal, that still looks really sweet, doesn't it? And again, if you wanted to put eyelashes on, you can do, because you need snowmen and snowwomen. Okay, so that's our first one. Now the next potato, I'm going to draw just here, like that. Now this is going to be a little bit more tricky, okay? So we're going to find the middle with a little dot. Then we're going to come down and round. We're going to do a little penguin. Now again, penguins aren't particularly colourful either. So we're going to put colourful things on it. And my penguin is smiling. So this is the top bit of his beak. We're going to come down into a V. It's quite tricky that, so take your time like that. Okay, now I'm going to put a bit of colour on there. So in his mouth, I'm going to do like a pink tongue and a rosy cheek. Again, you can do this at the end. And I'm going to put that lovely golden Christmassy yellow on there, the same sort of orangey yellow like that. Now I'm going to do a girl this time, but it's the same sort of thing. So we're going to give him adorable, or her, adorable eyes. Now, boys, you can draw these as well. These are gorgeous. If you want to just do black dots in there, you can do. But this time, I'm doing two spots of light, and sometimes that makes them look extra cute. Okay, so I've done my eyes. If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video, and you can always rewind it. That's the beauty of a video. And... I'm going to put my pen around here. Now you should be drawing this in pencil first and then you could go round it in pen if you've got a nice black fine liner, that's great. So boys, if you don't want to put eyelashes on, you don't have to. So we've got a really cute little penguin here. Now I'm going to put a little bobble hat on. You could draw a little French beret if you like. And colours, again, totally up to you. So I think I'm going to get a nice red like that. Now we don't want it to look like she supports Sunderland, or do we? So I'm going to do some checks. 
going down every so often. So it looks like she's got a little tartan, a wee tartan hat on. And um, tartan's very sort of uh, Christmassy, isn't it? You always get it on wreaths and holly and things like that. So you can put a bit of colour on that little pom pom if you like. I think I'm going to do a nice little yellowy thing there. So we don't really know what she's looking at. She's going, ah. So she could be looking up at the snow. She could be doing something. So I'm going to put a little V on with my crown. Now you can do this with blue if you want to do a dark navy blue penguin instead of a sort of traditional colour one because these are sort of uh, cartoony children's books characters. You don't need to make them look realistic. Okay, now don't worry if you think your um, penguin looks a little bit chubby. It's all good. It's all cute. And I'm going to put a bit of blue around those eyes. It looks like some sort of gorgeous toy or something, doesn't it? And I'm going to put a little scarf on her. And I'm going to put it to the side. So, which one do you think was hardest? Do you think that was hardest or that? Now, in my opinion, I think the beak is quite hard. And if you've sort of given up with that beak and thought, oh, it's far too hard, there's easier ways of doing beaks if you want to. If you want to do a beak like that, you can do. Okay, I know, whatever's easiest for you. Okay, so there she is. Now I'm gonna draw her looking up. Oh, shall I show you how to do snowflakes? Okay, so if I had a really pale turquoise, I'd do it with that, but then you wouldn't be able to see it. So I'm gonna do it with this. So she's looking at a big snowflake. Now, you know how you do kisses on the end of your cards, birthday cards and Christmas cards? You do a kiss and then a plus, and then at the top, you do a V, and at the bottom, you do a V, and then left and right. Okay, do that again. Do a kiss. Do a line down the middle. This is brilliant if you do it with Pritz you can put glitter over it inside your cards and then put the V's on like that. Okay, you can also draw a star. Now stars are horrible to draw. I know some of you do stars a bit like that, don't you? But stars take a lot of practice. There we go, so he's got a little star there. Okay, now the last one we're gonna do is a little strange one, because you wouldn't think it was very sort of Christmassy, but it is lovely to draw on a Christmas card. And it is, it looks a bit like a carrot, okay? Now, not that long carrot, it looks like a little weird fat carrot. Now this is also, let me show you, it's like a teardrop on its side. Okay, and this is good for um, fish, it's good for hedgehogs, it's good shape for all sorts of things. I call it my carrot shape. Now, I'm going to draw a big ear here. We're going to draw a little cute mouse. Now, you might want to draw a little mouse popping out from behind a cake, or um, a little mouse popping out of um, a sock, a stocking, or out of Santa's uh, bags. So we've got a little nose here. I'm going to do a little sausage on top of his head. Now, it isn't really a sausage. That would be weird. Why would a mouse have a sausage on top of his head? Maybe a rat might if he'd been in the bin. So I'm going to move my tinsel. I'm going to just put this tinsel. I'm going to put a little bobble there. Or it could be a little bell. Okay, so if you wanted to draw a little sort of Santa hat style on there, you can do but the good thing is Christmas, everything is lovely and bright and colourful. Now, over here, we're going to draw some eyes. And we're going to draw little eyes a little bit like coal. Now, these eyes are really sweet. And they're good for um, little sort of rodents. So we're drawing a little Christmas mouse. There we go. Put eyelashes on if you like. There we go. Nice friendly eyes. And I'm just going to come round the face, looking a little bit hairy. Now, we don't want to make him look like a big stinky rat because we do not want a Christmas rat. Well, you could do, oh, I feel like rats get bad press. They always get bad um, news. So, <laughs> And my little mouse has got a smiley mouth and little teeth like that. 
and you can draw him in a little Christmas jumper if you want. Oh, I'll move my board down. There we go. And if you want to draw him jumping out of a little present or a stocking, you can draw four sausages with a line through. So that could be a present, it could be a stocking. And I like doing little white mice. You can do a blue mouse, you could do brown mouse, whatever you like. There we are. And then I might get my green and you can do a present or stocking, whatever you like. Okay, last thing we're gonna do we're going to write Merry Christmas. Now, I'm going to write it on here. You don't need to write this if you don't want to. This is just me showing you. If you wanted to do your own Christmassy picture, you could put this up in your window, couldn't you? And I'm going to put the year on as well. Now, that might take some of you longer if you are just learning to write, for example. And I'm going to put my name down here. Now, you have just learned how to do three very tricky characters. So we've got our beautiful snowman, we've got our very cute penguin, and we've got a little cute mouse as well. Okay, now the sheets I'm gonna give you have got all sorts of how to draw stuff on there. They've got things like uh, Christmas pudding, we've got Santa, we've got elves, Christmas tree, we've got everything. Okay, so anything you can think of Christmassy, it will be on this sheet, okay? So hopefully you've learned a little bit about drawing today. I think I've smudged my nose along the way. <laughs> it just shows you can't, can't have fun and work hard without making a bit of a mess. So I have got pen all over my hands, which is a sign of a good day's drawing, I think. You've probably, have you got pen on your hands? Yes, probably. Now, if you haven't put colour on yet and you haven't got pen on you, uh, go and put some colour on, okay? Bright, gorgeous, festive colours. Now, you might want to make a lovely picture for someone who you aren't seeing this year. You might want to do uh, a Christmas card or make some decorations to hang up around your house. Make the most of your Christmas drawing talents, okay? So I'd just like to say a big thank you for watching. Please support your local libraries, uh, especially during this time, and have fun and have a wonderful Christmas. Thank you so much, girls and boys. Bye.